I remember um, when there was a march that was focusing on uh, the issues of the day and afterwards in the area where we could interview celebrities uh, going up to Tim Robbins who's much taller than me and I think we were on steps so he was even taller and asked him about why he had chosen to be there and he kind of got in my face and why would you think I wouldn't be here and um, you know like why are you asking that question and perhaps that related to the legitimacy of celebrities uh, speaking out, um, but I did not mean it that way and was sort of totally taken aback and didn't know quite what, what to say. Um, so that was sort of one of those times where you scratch your head afterwards and think, could I have phrased it differently? Or who knows who else had interviewed him beforehand that might have offended him? Um, you never know that when you're interviewing somebody. They're carrying with them the baggage of everybody else that has interviewed them. Um, Interviews that I really enjoyed doing, um, Colin Powell, and no matter how much he's been interviewed, and so yes, he's a pro at it, he speaks so genuinely, and you feel that he's really speaking to you, and, um, and I was interviewing him not about war decisions, but about his, his life, and um, he just has such a great way of phrasing things engagingly and telling stories that the interview becomes a conversation, hopefully a conversation that you as the reporter are still in charge of and directing. He could very easily usurp it because um, he's so good at this. Uh, so I really in enjoyed interviewing him. Um, and I'm thinking about some of the um, amazing women that I had a chance to interview, and, and one I haven't thought of this in years that pops into mind. Imogene Cunningham was a uh, woman photographer, um, no longer with us, but when I was in San Francisco, I remember going to her um, home on Telegraph Hill, and, and just her life, her story, her photographs, it was um, such a privilege to, uh, to share that. And a difficult interview that meant a lot to me when I was first working for People magazine was with a young mother who had uh, HIV AIDS, um, came from a rural area in Kentucky originally, and uh, had a blood transfusion during the birth of her son. And um, I was able to visit with her several times. And she was somebody who had also started uh, doing writing and we had a lot in common. And, um, and she was so genuinely open about sharing a very difficult time of her life. And so um, that was a very rewarding interview for me.